How's our passenger? She's still aging? As usual, she had a lot to say. Yeah, to you, maybe. I don't usually hear much beyond fool and imbecile. She's lucky she's a Jedi, or someone would have killed her years ago. I mean, how old do you think she is? She may have been good-looking once, but it takes some hard living to make creases like that. Good-looking? Are you that desperate? Hey, I just got out of prison. If we had a decent Navi computer, trust me, we'd be dropping out of hyperspace into the Nar Shaddaa Red Sector right now. After spacing that old witch, of course. Don't you think it's time to stop with the insults? She sacrificed herself so we could escape. Whoa, all right, all right, don't get mad at me. Hey, I didn't ask her to stay behind and get her hand cut off, okay? I mean, I appreciate what she did and all, but she could stand to lay off the insults herself, you know? Maybe the two of you can resolve your differences once we get to Telos. So? What happened? What are you talking about? Don't give me that. There were plenty of times back on Paragus where a lightsaber would have been helpful. So where's yours? It was taken by the Jedi Council, the final act of my exile. Oh yeah? I thought a Jedi was supposed to be married to their lightsaber. I thought a Jedi and their blade couldn't be parted. To lose it was like losing a part of yourself. I don't want to talk about it, so just focus on flying the ship. Alright, forget I said anything. If they think we caused the explosion... Uh-oh. Here comes the welcoming party. They may not know what happened, so don't blow it. I'm Lieutenant Gren, Telos Security Force. I'm under orders to take you into custody in regards to the destruction of the Paragas mining facility. You haven't been formally charged, but you will be placed under house arrest pending the results of our investigation. Due to the nature of the investigation, I have no specific timetable to offer you. In the meantime, your ship and any droids will have to be given over for safekeeping. We are innocent. But I understand you're just following orders, so we'll cooperate. Good. My men will relieve you of any arms and armor. Please follow me. Tell me I'm not going to jail again.
These will serve as your quarters for the duration of your house arrest. Two officers will be stationed outside at all times. How long will we be here? I can't say. We have a ship examining what's left of the Paracas facility now, so your stay might be brief. We'll keep you informed. Let's go. This isn't good. We've got to get off this station. And why is that? What do you think the TSF is going to find at Paragas? That could bring the Sith... You know what? Forget it. As long as we're trapped here, it doesn't matter. We cannot stay in any one place too long. But our path has brought us here for a reason. I must meditate on this. In the meantime, we should rest. Yeah, you go ahead and meditate. As for me, I could use some sleep. something to me. I do not have the years required, nor the desire to indulge you. If she served in the war, well, Jedi are supposed to be tough, capable. Yes, and what are they without the Force? Take the greatest Jedi Knight, strip away the Force, and what remains? They rely on it, depend on it more than they know. Watch as one tries to hold a blaster, as they try to hold a lightsaber, and you will see nothing more than a woman, or a man. Child. But to lose so much, I guess I didn't realize how much they relied on it. Do not be surprised. In many ways, even you are more capable than a Jedi. You could survive where they could not simply because you do not hear the Force as they do. It is irony of a sort, and it is why I tolerate your presence now. But such a loss of ability for a Jedi it seems so extreme. She has been gone from war some time. It is conflict that strengthens us, and isolation that weakens us, erodes us. Add to that that she turned away from war, did all that she could to forget it, and the last piece clicks into place. But we have spoken enough of this, and we do her a disservice by not speaking of this while she is present. I've come to inform you that the Talosian government has completed its inspection of what's left of the Paragas facility. It appears that the Harbinger had indeed been present, though it was gone when our ships arrived and was responsible for the station's destruction. Logs recovered from the facility's wreckage indicated that the miners perished as a result of sabotage, which began while you and your companions were either incapacitated or incarcerated. As such, you are to be released from house arrest. However, the Republic is sending its own ship. They have insisted that you remain on station for the duration of their search. How long will we have to stay? The sojourn is already en route, likely not more than a few standard days. Feel free to use these quarters during your stay. And what about our ship? The vessel's IND is complete. Please visit the TSF station in Entertainment Module 081 to complete the necessary paperwork at the front desk. The Evan Hawk should be transferred from the impound docks by the time you're free to leave. Now what? We can't just stick around. We need to find a way off the station. Whether it's the Ebon Hawk or some other ship. We could hit Nar Shada, maybe. If you've got people coming after you, it's where you go to get lost in the crowd. And you know this from experience. Hey, everyone needs to get lost once in a while. Get away from something, you know? It's no big deal. Look, this place is a waste. If Telos wasn't doomed before Paragas blew, it is now. Even more so if your friends from Paragas come calling. I feel we came to Telos for a reason but we may have spent too much time here already. Even if the Harbinger was destroyed at Paragas, more Sith could already be on their way. Well, what do you think? Whether we stay or leave Delos, we need a ship. Our first priority should be getting to the Ebon Hawk. Makes sense. I'll follow your lead. You seem different. It's hard to explain. I hope this isn't some flimsy attempt to compliment me on my change of clothes. Uh... Relax. I'm kidding. I do feel pretty good, considering what I've been through. Well, it's good to see. You're a nice counterbalance to that old witch back there. Um, thanks. Welcome to Entertainment Module 081's TSF station. How may I be of assistance? I'm looking for a ship. It was taken from us shortly after we arrived. I will call up the appropriate information now. One moment. Searching. One moment. I regret to inform you that the Ebon Hawk is gone. 
The TSF believes it was stolen and is currently investigating. It seems the Ebonhawk was transferred to Telos' surface instead of an impound dock. However, both the requester and the point of delivery are unknown. In addition, the vessel is not showing up at any government-sanctioned landing site. I would conjecture that it has been stolen and the TSF records have been illegally accessed and modified. I knew it! That stupid T3 unit stole our ship. It's probably joyriding through the system right now, laughing at us, laughing at me. That is unlikely. While your utility droid is not accounted for, numerous satellites track all incoming and outgoing vessels. There is no record of the Ebonhawk leaving the system. Wait, you're saying the ship's actually somewhere on a Telos surface? I don't understand. Telos atmosphere is highly corrosive outside the shielded restoration zones. Where else could someone land safely? I'm sorry. I'm afraid that's all the information I have for you. Of course, the quarters in residential module OE2 will remain yours until the situation is resolved. Can we at least get back our weapons? Fortunately, your possessions were kept in the armory and were uncompromised. I will open the door for you so that you may retrieve them. Scars run deep. Oh, yeah. 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 